Beasley with Martin Bester. How hard can it be? Whoa, well, whoa. Well, well. hmm. How hard can it be to be completely honest in life? And don't just look at us. Maybe ask yourself that question as well. You're going yeah. to work this morning. You're not going to be completely honest. No. <laughs> no. You're going to want to listen to people's nonsense stories and pretend like you are interested and you're not. Mm. It usually you, starts with, how are you? Yeah. How are you? Right there. And then you're like, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. Mm. I'm okay. Are you really? Are you? <laughs> are you? <laughs> hmm. All right, so you are allowed to ask us any questions and we have to answer them completely honestly. Yes. Are you ready? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> right. Shoot. Martin, the is for you. Wie is your gunsteling collega? Oh, that's easy. Oh, oh. oh really? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. That's for you, go. Take yeah. a guess. You can tell him. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell him. We all listen. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. Hold on, let me just put my mic. <laughs> Three. Yeah, two. don't make it awkward for me at all. Mm. Do not make it awkward for me at all. You didn't say on air. So, just my favorite colleague at Jacaranda FM. Right, so it could be in HR. Did you mean on air? You meant on air, though, no, no, like, he didn't, he didn't on air. He didn't specify. It's Megan. Of course, yeah, it's Megan. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Megan just flipped me the bird. That's oh, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was she trying Meg- to intimidate Martin behind your back? <laughs> Megan, Megs, Mitchell. On air. Mm. Oh. He didn't ask. <laughs> <laughs> Next. Ek is nogal graag neskierig om uit te vind, het iemand al ooit in die atelier gepoep? En indien iemand al gepoep het, wie? I'm so glad you're not wasting your questions. Uh, yeah, um, so you know, with, these are the important things. Mm, okay. Not while I've been in the studio. <gasps> what? Mm. Are you remembering back? What? Are you having a memory? There was a, a guest. Flashback. There was a guest. <gasps> oh, oh a guest. there was a guest. I and, remember there and, was a guest. And she's very famous, but I can't. I cannot oh. possibly Ooh. say. Very famous guest. Oh. us <sighs> Yeah. So the answer is yeah. Gelukkig het nie gevra wie nie. She wasn't shy about it. She owned it. Right. Good. Which she did. is commendable. Good, yeah. She absolutely owned it. Oops, and was me. I liked her even more. Yeah. Okay. So, next. What is the next secret sound going to be? No, I don't know. None of us know. Yeah, we don't know. Um, I can be completely honest about it. So if you win this one today, then we spend the next 24 hours mm. yeah. thinking and making noises and stuff. Yeah, it's... Yeah. I don't know. It's like a madhouse. To be fair to say, mostly Ethan, I think, drives that. Like, a lot of the time, I, I have no idea. Well, the only people who know would be myself and Ethan. And Ethan, yeah. yeah. We, we wouldn't necessarily know me and mm-hmm. Felicity no, either. at mm-hmm. all. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, next. Who is jylle elke dag in so, so goeie bai mood Kry jylle nooit a bad morning nie Want jylle is so vrolik elke ochend Is ons Ja, ja is this Bad mornings uh, We do, of course we've got bad mornings But that's not our job to come sit here And make our bad mornings your bad morning no. Right? No, look, it's not And also, I, out of all of the time I would think that 99% of the time We actually are really in a good mood Because we do actually get along And have a laugh when the mics are off Yeah. So it's very, it's few and far between where we walk in and we're like, wow, today sucks. Yeah, and also I think there's a realization that a lot of people listening to us might be having bad mornings, and it's our jobs to make sure that we change that. Mm. Guys, just be completely honest. Yeah. I am not a ray of sunshine five o'clock in the morning. No, 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 look, I mean, uh, until, no one said that. Until, Martin. until five to six. <laughs> no, until that first cup of coffee has gone down. So in the double, just after six, and he's gone to make the second oh, cup. Oh, so like then you're like during the news. Yes, the news, news. He's warming up. He's warming up. Right. Warming up double comes in. Coffee's in. Guys, Martin's there. Be completely honest. <laughs> so about hoppers eight, right? <laughs> Where are we now? No, we're still good. We're still good. <laughs> On Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, one more for now. Yes. yes. <laughs> Honestly, 
what do you guys actually do for a living except being on the radio because it seemed like a lot of fun <coughs> what kind of question is that though Honestly? just for an actual living what is your real job <laughs> yeah, yeah. After you come and do this for fun, what do you do? <laughs> so, to give you an idea, yesterday I left here just after 11. Yeah. There were things to do and meetings and stuff. Some days we leave earlier than other days. Mm-hmm. And we all have separate things to do as well. You're an actress. Yep. That's correct. So, some days I'll leave here and I'll go straight to set and I'll go shoot there. Or I'll Voice go over. voiceovers. Yep. Um, or I MC gigs as well. Um, I'm looking at doing some social media stuff. So, yeah, there's, there is other stuff that I do. Can I just say, being an influencer these days is almost a full-time it job. It's a full-time it job. It takes longer to make those videos Thank and then you. to edit them nicely. Yeah. yeah. And then for the client also to be happy. It takes a while. Mm-hmm. So, it actually takes a chunk out of your day more than you think. Uh, I mean, you... So, yesterday, for instance, I had to go off and do some recordings for Carte Blanche, which is my other... Yeah, real class job. job. Yeah, <laughs> um, and then I run a little business uh, as well, and we have events. We've got one in Cape Town. We've got mm-hmm. one in London. Uh, we've got to, you know, organize everything from the catering to the AV to, you know, I'm a uh, admin. Uh, admin. I love admin. Yeah. And it's almost daily and meetings yeah. and online and blah, blah. Today I'm going to go to the studio um, at Kaleski to do some recording on my next single Ooh, that's exciting. and nice. then do some admin and stuff preparing for the weekend show so we, we do other things yeah. I do want to point out though there are days so today you're going to the studio today you're probably something else to do yeah. for me I don't have anything else to do today today so yeah. today I'm probably going to go home and I'm going to go make something delicious it's it's always different yeah. it's always it's yeah. never the same yeah. day yeah. every yeah, day no day is the same yeah. alright so what do you want to know uh, the question is how hard can it be to, comp- to be completely honest so far not so hard but you're not asking really hard questions are you no i dare you oh. what do you want to know oh. and we have to uh. answer it completely honestly 0850-0942 how hard can it be so far it's been okay oh, it's been easy yeah. easy peasy right. you ready yeah <laughs> steady Martin, Martin, uh, I know you love your job. You, it comes through in the passion that you have on the radio. But if you could do your music full time and it could sustain you financially to be able to do it full time, would you quit radio? I, I thought about this and I would be lying if I say yes, because I like doing, I like being busy, like mm. doing different things. I've always since a child my mother would tell you i was way too busy of a child but it's at some point you probably wouldn't have an option <laughs> i think while i've got an option of doing both yeah. i think uh, and the nice thing about radio is it allows you as we spoke just now it allows you to pursue other careers That's as well correct. i was about to say they're also complementary careers aren't they yeah yeah they yeah, yeah. Each it's other. it's an, an actual fact not to over answer but a lot of south africans do more than one thing yes and oh. is it a financial thing? Maybe because yeah. if you're an American actor and you're a millionaire, would you only be doing one thing? Well, maybe. I don't think so, hey. But South Africans though don't have that option. If you, you look- can't just be an actor, you can't just be a voiceover artist, mm. you can't just be no. a singer necessarily. Multiple streams of income, but also there's something about the art. So even American actors who are millionaires are also voicing animation characters. They're also doing ads for coffee companies on television. Do you know what I mean? It's 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 still a passion project. All these other things as well. So it's still fulfilling our need to be in the arts. Some way, somehow. So, romantically, to answer your question, yes, but I can tell you now, I'll give it a couple of weeks. And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then I want to do radio again. Uh, radio is an awesome medium. Yeah, it, it is. It really, there's nothing like it. Yeah, it's my yeah. Favorite. Next. Martin Beste in Span. Was did Karen Zoid wat gepoep het? No! Dit was nie. Karen so a liker word geskryf het. Yeah. In alles, nie. Was ik Karen nie. And she yeah. probably would have admitted it, right? Yes, on the mic. Yeah. Claimed it. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Next. Question to all three of you. What's your pet peeve? Is there something on the radio that annoys you or something that people do when they phone in? Or is it more like a general kind of thing? Well, you go first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I 
don't know. A pet peeve that people do when they speak to us or call us? Not really. I mean, we don't have lots of conversations um, or opportunities for conversations. And I think if it was, hello, how are you? Good morning. How are you? The back and forth of that is a bit of a pity. Does it annoy you when people get your name wrong? I've had 44 years of it, Martin. No. Cola yeah, and cola. No, and it, it, it's it, fine. It doesn't. I tell you what annoys me is if I can tell you're not going to make an effort to okay. pronounce my name. But if you can't pronounce my name, nah. Felicity. Hold on, let me bring up my list. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> you left that file at home. Yeah. <laughs> no, they, I mean, there's there's very few things that annoy me about uh, or pet peeve. I suppose, no, but that's not a pet peeve about people on the radio. One of my biggest pet peeves are, are people who aren't timeous. So people who are late, if we set up an appointment, but that's not a radio thing. Yeah. So, um, yeah. and when I say pet peeve, as in I want to murderize you if you're late, don't waste my time. Because mm. I'm not going to waste yours. Like, I literally, I cannot stand it. I think it's exceptional. That's what rude. I like about you. Yeah, it's... Mm. it's, so it's yeah. It's definitely one thing we've got in common quite yeah. strongly. Okay, so if I had to be honest about this one, um, and uh, the um, Megan, Ethan, the, the production team, they will all know this, is uh, when phones cut out. Yeah. Yeah, but the technology doesn't I work. honestly feel it's gotten worse and worse. Yeah. Maybe it's got something to do with load shedding or power or I don't know, but I just feel that signals. Yeah. yeah. And when people... You on air, they were perfectly fine moments before. Thank yeah. you. And as you go on. As you go on air, the phone starts cutting, the signal gets bad. Mm. And that what peeves me off even more than that, Dan Prati met Imant, they are busy walking in South Korea. Yeah, Thank in you. Singapore. The guy in Germany. On yeah. a train. In yeah, a train. Yeah. Perfect signal. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, yeah. Could he be sitting right here uh, next to us? Yes. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> okay, um, do we have time for... Let me just check here quickly. Do we have time for one more? No. So we'll come back <laughs> with the last round of honest questions with honest answers. How hard can it be to be completely honest? You're with your own family. Breakfast with Martin Bester. Come on, guys. Make it really hard. Yeah, this... Come on, Ethan. Put the tough questions in. Final round of how hard can it be to be completely honest? Okay. So you ask us a question. Yeah. And we have to be honest about the answer. Yeah. So far, how's it been? Very easy. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. These are all very. By the time. Very, very uh, doable kind of questions and answers, right? (laughs) Yeah. Nothing controversial, nothing inappropriate. It's amazing. So let's get to the controversial, inappropriate ones. Oh, oh you guys were poking the hornet's nest for the last round. How do you feel about that? How hard can it be? <laughs> Shoot. Have any of you ever had a crush on a fellow colleague or a guest? Yeah. Oh, must, oh, sorry. No, 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 please, please do. <laughs> yeah, ex- expand on that. Um, I, in fact, still do have a crush on a colleague. Um, I watch him with lust in my eyes when I see him walk down the passages, if you want to know. And, um, yeah, that's it. For the love of... Now? Yeah. Oh. You don't know? <laughs> I don't. Of course you do. Am I... I, what? I think you do. You do. You just... You, you know you do. I think you do. What? No, yeah. you do. Yeah. Do I know? Yes, you do know. Do I know the person? Yes. Yeah, yeah. You do very well. Is it the person? Oh I'm my thinking? gosh! It's the person you're, you're thinking of. Is the person on air? No. No. Not on air. No, it's just someone who walks around the office and then I. Just... Oh! I thought you were joking. <laughs> No, oh, that was a joke. Ah! <laughs> Why though? Hola, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I definitely have had um, a crush on someone I worked with, uh, but yo, I started doing this when I was twenty-three. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, was it was it back then? It was back then. Was a the person on air? She was. Yeah. Um, on the same show? No. So she actually worked for um, a sister station, but we shared a floor, so we. Oh. So we sort of worked in the same space. Oh, I see. Yeah. Did you ever D- hook up? That's a lot of information. No, <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Does she know? Did she know? I suspect that she might have because we, we actually were fairly friendly. We spoke uh, a lot. And I think I probably, as a 23-year-old, wasn't really great at oh, keeping it. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, it never led to anything. Yeah. Yeah. Your turn. Hello. Uh, no. 
No, no, no one in uh, your bo- whole career. Boring, boring. Not, not working with me. No. no. In your whole career. Never, never, yeah. ever, ever. And I, I thought about it very, very much now, very clearly. And no, yeah, no. Like, I've never, never, ever worked with anyone. No, that I've had a crush on. Yeah. Do you try and avoid being? They're mostly ugly. <laughs> No, no, I'm kidding. No, you see, I'm very lucky. I'm I've worked I'm with parties. No, no, no. Say it. It's okay. It's okay. No, no. It's honest. Remember, it's honest. You're not going to say you're kidding. What was the second part of the thing? Oh, I, d- I don't know. Was, the second was part? it just about colleagues? Or? Or guests? Or guests. Oh, gosh. Oh, we've had some cute guests in here. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Last week. The week before. Yeah. No. Uh, next. How hard is it? Not to swear on radio if someone does something wrong. Don't jinx us now. Yeah. Because I I do sometimes have quite a bit of a potty mouth. Um, not as much as Felicity, but... Um, <laughs> or Paula, but I mean, so it's not... It's kind of a, it's weird. It's like a second and I'm, I hope this guy's not jinx, jinxing us now. But mm. it's it's uh, in the beginning it was hard. But now it's like second nature. It is very odd, and I am going to take it. I, off air, I say the most horrific things with the complete straight face. Are we going with face. horrific? Well, I mean, I, I do have a potty mouth. I, okay. I'm going to admit it. But you're right. On air, it's like a switch goes off, and yeah. you're just like, no, that's not what's being done. Yeah, I think for a lot of people, you've got to imagine maybe being on stage and giving a speech or whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. When you know that you have an audience, yeah. you do behave professionally when you as a parent you're at a kid's birthday party you kind of know oh no that's a terrible example <laughs> <laughs> is it a terrible example oh, wow. <laughs> all right so uh, where are we next have you ever had to work with someone on air that you didn't like or agree with <gasps> even if it's a guest and who is that yeah sure. have you ever worked with someone on air that you didn't like or agree with yeah or a guest. Yes, Ye- plenty. Y- yes, to both. Yeah. yeah. Yes, to both. Yes, yes to, to both. both. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I find probably more with guests, and I, yeah. I think it's because there are a lot of similar type personalities that we work with. Yeah. Um, and guests will come in from left field and they have opinions and you might mm. think, oh, that's not kind of... Yeah, I've, I've felt that a few times, more than... With I mean, colleagues. I've been doing this for a very long time with different teams and different people on air, with different colleagues and and so on. And I can quite honestly tell you that there's probably only one person. I'm just let me just think this through quickly. Mm. <laughs> yeah, one maybe two people that I never want to work with again. Oh, yeah. yeah, one yeah. vehemently. Okay. Uh-huh. Never want to work with that person again. Uh-huh. Yeah. And maybe another person that oof, I need a lot of patience. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I've been very lucky. And if you take it in context of how yes. long over the course yeah. I've been career, doing it, it, it's it's actually good odds. That's Agreed. Amazing. I've been so lucky. Agreed. Fact. Yeah. Yeah. Would you like to name the person? Um, I would. So no. <laughs> <laughs> That's Do they no. Listen? <laughs> I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna name the person. And it's a, it's not that. It's not anything. I just don't think that we are. Each other's people. Does it make yeah, sense? Yeah. We're just not each other's people. And I've been lucky with guests as well, but I can tell you this. I mean, this, this country is too small. I'm not going to name names. But there's one band. I generally like most musicians. Yeah. Mm. Uh, I work in the industry as well, and I've interviewed many, 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 many people. But there's one band in this country, and they're from Cape Town. Mm. That really irritated they me. Burnt your, um, they, they, they honestly, burnt your fingers with you. They honestly irritated me. I thought they were incredibly, incredibly arrogant. Mm. Um, and, and the weird thing is, and I'll tell you something for free, the, the internationals, that's why probably when you deal with a South African that is arrogant mm. um, and thinks too much of themselves, I find it strange yeah. because we sometimes get the opportunity yes. to interview and speak and deal with the biggest stars on the entire planet mm-hmm. yeah. and they are the easiest Absolutely. Be patient and kind yeah. Yeah. And but it's just the one or two yeah. yeah and also i know a lot of people will think that our colleagues finish start and finish on air yeah um, so the person i've had the biggest issue with relationship yes. in terms of work is not somebody who i ever worked with on air Somebody, you know, Hold in on. one of the big offices. Hold on, listen to me. <gasps> oh, I no, listen. You know what I, I mean? I, I tried to brush over this because yeah. they didn't ask about <laughs> managers. Oh, 
They did not. That question Good had point. Moving that on. question had Pull nothing. Because that's a whole that's a, oh, <laughs> yeah. well, oh, okay. All right, oh. okay, last two, last two. <laughs> what annoys you guys about each other? Like oh. what is the one thing that Martin does that annoys you? What's the one thing that Felicity does that oh. annoys you? And what's the one thing that Paula does that annoys you? Okay, you've obviously never met me. I am not annoying at all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Who would like to go first? Why don't you go first, Mart? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my soul. Mm. Um, oh, I've got one. Okay, okay. go. <laughs> <laughs> Why so much pressure, you guys? <laughs> so, when Felicity... Yes. You want to share this earth shatteringly important, life altering story with me two minutes before my bulletin, and I'm trying to write the last three stories mm-hmm. oh, in yeah. two minutes. Annoying. But I wouldn't change it for anything. Are you saying she talks too much? I um, didn't put it that way. Um, okay. <laughs> That's fine. I'll his go. words, not mine. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the one thing about Felicity is because I envy it. Okay. Uh, Felicity is very bubbly yeah. from the first waking moment of the day. Yeah, from the hell, from the good morning. In fact, she sings her good morning. Sometimes you are so happy just saying good morning, mm. it irritates me because <laughs> I cannot get to that level. Of bubbly, it's even if the, I try. It's in the key of G major. I checked. <laughs> Good morning. Uh, uh, Paula. For the steam. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, sure. Um, sure. Do you know what? And I don't know if it's an annoyance. It's it's a character trait that I maybe I don't have. Paula's exceptionally, you're an exceptionally patient man. You're so patient and you He's always willing to kind of Stop and think about both sides Of the conversation Whereas I'm very like I'm just gonna fly in with my own opinion So sometimes I'm like Be angry or you know yeah. But that's not Paula He's a very reasonable very measured man um, So it's not really an annoyance It's something I suppose that I also I, I think about it's Something I could learn from I don't, Yeah I don't like getting angry. No very measured. Felicity gets angry in G minor. <laughs> that is correct. Yeah. It's correct. Is that G minor uh, that low? <laughs> sure. sure. Okay. Um, like what, annoys, minor. Yeah, okay. <laughs> what annoys me about Martin is that he relishes. Oh, look at the time. Oh, no. Yes, she was saying. <laughs> To just tuning in, talking about uh, <laughs> things that annoy us about each other. And it's in a subtle thing called how hard can it be to be completely honest? Mm. Yes. Um, I suppose the only thing that, an- and it's, once again, it's not really an annoyance. Um, but I love hate the way that uh, Martin will push us as a team to, <laughs> no, seriously, to mm. be better and do better. So there's a moment when you're a little bit annoyed because you're like, but I'm also tired. And then you're like, actually, Martin's also tired. Mm. And if he is willing to push and go, think further, go further, what is better, what works? What now's is, not the time to be tired. Now's not the time to be tired. Like, there's an element of Martin's willing to lay it on the line for the listener and for the people that... So you're, you're encouraged as a team to do the exact same thing. Mm. And... So sometimes it's hard. Yeah, and I appreciate that, yeah. actually. Yeah. Annoying. It's not, so uh, annoying. It's, <laughs> to the point of being insufferable about it no. and relentless. No. Uh, do we have time for one more? Of course we do. Do we have time for one last of one? Of course we do. Last, you know? right. last, it's going to be a spicy one. It's going to be like a last one. Few to you. How hard can it be to be completely honest? Uh, talking about pushing people. Um, do your worst. No. Fine. <laughs> Find like the toughest question for us to answer. Let's see if we can answer it. Okay, coming up. Like t- a tough, tough one. Like th- like an elephant in the room tough. Oh. Like the kind of thing that people want to know, but no one wants to ask. Oh. Stuff like that kind of stuff. All right? Okay. Last one coming up. How hard can it be for us to be completely honest? This is Breakfast with Martin Bester. Jacaranda FM. We have been doing How Hard Can It Be all morning. Uh, how hard can it be to be completely honest? When people ask you an honest question, would you answer it honestly? 
So far, so good. I think we've answered most of the questions. Yeah, and honestly. Admirably. Yeah. Uh, time for the very, very, very last round. And thanks for the interest. There have been a million questions. Mm-hmm. So uh, I, I asked the team, listen, give, it, give us your best shot. Yeah, these are... <laughs> Come now. Go. If another radio station offers you twice as much the money that you earn from Jacaranda, would you go to them or would you be loyal to Jacaranda? Jacaranda. <laughs> Jacaranda. Well, I go. <laughs> where, where, so. where, where am I going? Which station? Yes, so. for, for twice the pay. For twice. Twice. I mean, jeepers, boss. You'd. Um, I don't know if you're going to keep me unless you at least just give me some sort of increase. Uh, management, it's a yes from Kula. Yeah. <laughs> just give me something. There are conditions to this. Um, I. Yeah, sure. It's no. a yes from. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Twice. Uh, to answer the question completely honestly, it's not like they expect us to hang around forever. Otherwise, they would employ us. We're not employed. We are on contract and they lapse uh, you yearly. Know, around about bank, yeah. June yeah. Uh, yearly. So I think even they would be going, dude, if someone offers you all that money for you, <laughs> go. <laughs> for you. go for Did you have someone in mind or are you asking generally? Yeah. Do we know? Do we, do we have a number? Is something happening? Yeah. All right, last one, last one, last one. I just want to know if... You had to lose one percent from your morning show. Who would it be? Oh, oh. Yeah. oh. Do we close our eyes and answer on three? Let's all point. Do we point? Well, the eyes closed. Yeah. No, no. Keep your no, eyes. No, you can't. Yeah. Closed. Yeah. You also don't want to offend that person. Yeah. Like, oh. How to close your eyes? <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, I'll keep my eyes open and do very good reporting on what happens in this studio. So, actually, uh, you're I stick with my finger. You got my finger. Wow. Yo. It's a hypothetical question. hypothetical The answer is. That person is long gone. They've already a left. Couple of years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Let bygones be bygones. Breakfast with Martin Besser. Six to nine weekdays. Jacaranda FM.